What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, of course, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. It's free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. This could resonate if you have Taurus in any aspect to your chart. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or Sun, moon, Haven, or Jupiter chart. Jump to the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Free general collective reading for sign of Taurus. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North, Moon, Moon, Haven, and Jupiter charts for additional message or messages if they apply for you. Uh, it's a free general collective reading, so as always, please only take the messages that resonate with the rest. Uh, if it doesn't, if the message or messages do not apply, please do not force them. Only you know your particular life story and situation, not anybody else. So please don't force any message or messages that don't apply or fit, okay? Um, love and appreciate each and every one of you guys. Um, thanks for all the new subscribers. Um, uh, personal readings are open. There's some slots available, available, but most are closed. So, uh, taken. So if you're interested, you have to text me to book and I have a new service called life coaching. If anybody's interested in that, all the information is in the description box below. If you're interested. Okay. All right. So I received two channel messages for the sign of Taurus. Um, the first one is for a Taurus popular online social media tarot reader. Um, if this applies for you, popular online social media Taurus tarot reader, I heard a cust a previous customer of your past. I heard it is a feminine energy. She's about to try to contact you soon regarding some kind of money laundering of the past. I heard it would be smart to not minimally or not communicate with her and to report it to authorities. That was the first one. So of course. It doesn't sound like it's happened yet. It sounds like it's upcoming. Of course, you can take the spiritual downloads and advice or leave it, but whoever that's for. You're a Taurus, feminine, popular online social media platform reader, whoever you are. It is a feminine customer of your past, whoever that person is. Now, only you would know who this person is, not anybody else. You have to plug the fem customer of your past in, how they resonate. But I heard she's about to contact you, so... It doesn't sound like she's contacted you yet. She is definitely somebody you used to service. I think you used to give her personal readings or some other kind of service, however that resonates and applies. But she's about to contact you regarding some kind of money laundering of the past. I heard the spiritual download in that. It'd be smart to either minimally contact with her or no contact with her and basically forward the information to authorities. Now, whatever authorities that is, whether it's local police, feds, or what have you, what have you. But it's regarding money laundering, so that's really serious shit. Um, if it was me, of course, you could take the advice or leave it. I would screenshot everything. All the, the reconnection, everything. Everything she says, screenshot it. Um, save it. Screenshot it. And then send it to whoever you need to send it to. Feds, police, whatever is appropriate there. And then, obviously, with the either minimal or no contact. But screenshot save it and screenshot it that way you have the evidence when you contact whoever you need to contact there okay but it's regarding money laundering but only you would know if there was some kind of money laundering involved with this former customer of the past or not okay that's for one of you guys let me go turn the light on i'll be right back okay i apologize Okay, and for the second download I received was for a Taurus feminine public speaker. Um, uh, your popular online social media public speaker, I heard. And I heard um, you are about to get receive contact from an effeminate, feminine energy soon um, for a business deal. But I heard it is a scam and she's involved with money laundered money. It would not be smart. So whoever that's for, number two, you are a popular online Taurus Femme public speaker. It's a feminine energy. I don't know if you, I didn't hear if she was a person in your past. I feel for a lot of you guys, if you resonate with category two, she's probably a new person. For some, it possibly could be a person in your past, but I didn't hear it was. I feel for a lot of you guys, it's a new person. Um, but she's about to contact you with a business deal. 
Um, I heard it wouldn't be smart to take it, and it's involving some kind of money laundered money. I don't think she's going to tell you it's money laundered money in situation two. Situation one, the tourist spam, popular online so, uh, tarot card reader, you know it's money laundered money. Situation two, popular online tourist spam, public speaker, I don't think you know. You do not know. You do not know is what I heard. This confirmation. So situation two, you do not know. Situation one, you do. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoever that's for, uh, wh whoever those messages are for, okay? Spirit messages you have for Sidoris. Increase in material wealth or spiritual growth, popular online social media businesses, and tarot reading and public speaking. I think you're spiritual. You can be spiritual and religious or just spiritual, but I definitely think it's regarding some kind of spiritual matters with tarot reading or the online popular um, public speaking. You plug it in, how it resonates. Spirit messages here outside doors. Dagger, fear, worries, tense situation. A child, a, a child acquiring HIV is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. A child acquiring HIV is about to become very significant in Taurus's life. So you plug it in, how it resonates, Taurus. I feel for some, you might be a doctor possibly treating this child or you might be a nurse um, with the lab results you might work at a clinic or a doctor's office you might work at an er or however you're connected to this child that has about to find out they have hiv uh, for some you could be a family member a community member hopefully you help the child or you contact somebody, a loving parent, if they do have a loving parent, that will help the child. Spirit messages, you have a sign of Taurus. A Taurus feminine that thought she was in a twin flame dynamic through many series of chain events, she's about to find out her masculine partner is cheating on her. He's an extreme narcissist. He's been secretly hiding it for a long time. Through many series of chain events, you're about to find this out. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And for some, your popular online social media people for some you're going to publicly once you kick this person out you're going to publicly talk about it oh my god there's at least two of you popular online social media platform energy very strong in here for you guys and popular and popular films at that um you plug it in how it resonates at least two of you are about to find out your I heard you thought you were in a twin flame dynamic. So you could be legally married to this person. You could be in a committed relationship. You could be, they could be your fiance. They could be boyfriend, girlfriend, but you're in a committed relationship with them. It could be a live-in, however that resonates. But you thought they were your twin, but I heard they've been secretly cheating on you a long time. And it's a masculine energy. Um, through many series of chain events, you're about to find out they've been cheating on you. So I don't know if you're going to find evidence in their phone, emails, um, clothes that aren't yours um lingerie that's not yours sex items that's not yours or however you're going to find somehow you're about to find out some evidence and proof that your husband's cheating or not your husband your man your masculine energy is cheating on you whether it's a fiance a husband a boyfriend or whatever somebody you think is your twin your twin flame um tourist fam popular online social media platform people um I heard for at least one through many series of chain events once you kick him out so you haven't even found out he's cheating on you yet but once you find out he's cheating on you well one there's at least two of you and one you're going to kick him out 
And absolutely, that's disrespect at its finest. Absolutely, I'd kick him out too. But I heard once you kick him out, for one, you're going to kick him out. For one, you may not. But once you kick him out, for one of you, you will talk about it on your platform. Kudos to you. A strong woman unite. Just saying, just saying. Spirit message you have reflected. But I heard he's been doing it a long time. He's been very sneaky about it. So he didn't obviously want you to know that he's cheating on you. Because I think whoever you are, you truly thought you're in a twin flame dynamic. And I think you speak about it on your platform or you used to speak about it on your platform. And I think it brings in the bugs and he knows it is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. But you're about to find it out. And honestly, uh-uh. I don't care if you're in twin flame or not. It's always going to be honest about it publicly. And if he's cheating on you, he obviously is not your twin. And that's just the truth. I would expose his ass on my platform too and kick him out. But of course, you have free will to do whatever you want to do. Okay? Dog protection from a powerful friend. I know some people stay in relationships for materialism. I don't believe in that. I never have. Experiments of this year I've reflected. Lingerie about to be found underneath a vehicle seat is about to become very significant. It's raining. So maybe it's raining somewhere where you live, um, possibly. Or it's about to rain down on this fake twin. However, that resonates. Confirmation with the rain. Hasn't rained here in a while. Um, just saying. Uh, okay, so lingerie found underneath the vehicle seat is about to become very significant for one of you guys. I think you're about to find this lingerie underneath the vehicle seat. Her lingerie, so that could be man or woman lingerie, I feel. You plug it in, how it resonates. Playfulness, number 15, could be very significant number of one's life. Number 15, it could be a possible age of a child or yours or somebody you're connected to or any other significant number. Number 15. For some, you can be dealing with the air sign or a fire sign. If you are, they could have Aries, Leo, side, Aries, Leo, side, or Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or feminine, or Jupiter, charts. If you are, butterfly. One tourist is about to fly the coop from their city. About to move. Chicago. Philadelphia. Nashville, Chattanooga. Okay, so one of you guys is about to fly the coop from your city, a city that you currently live in. Um, Chicago, uh, Philadelphia, Nashville, and Chattanooga is what I heard. So I feel for some you could live in Chicago, Philadelphia, Nashville, or Chattanooga. You plug it in how it resonates, or you're moving to those cities. But one of you guys is about to fly the coop. And Huntsville, Alabama. And Huntsville, Alabama. There's two Huntsvilles. There's Huntsville, Texas, Huntsville, Alabama. So I heard Huntsville, Alabama. So, um, and one Huntsville, Alabama, which is the city I live in. So um, you plug it in how it resonates. But one of you guys is about to fly the coop from the city you live in, whether it's those cities or you're moving to those cities. Um, you're about to fly like a butterfly out of your city and to another city, whether you're going to those cities that are mentioned or you're going from those cities that are mentioned. You plug it in how it resonates, but in this aspect, I feel the butterfly is um, 
spreading your wings and flying away. Uh, whoever you are, I don't, obviously, I don't think you're happy in your current city. Maybe cost of living's too high. Maybe the crime rate's too high. Maybe you're not growing, manifesting, and flourishing the way you want to. But you're about to, you're about to fly the coop. You're about to spread your wings and fly. Fear, um, I think for some, there's the crime rate might be too high, possibly. We have fear, worries, tense situations. I think there might be a lot of crime in your neighborhood or crime in your city. Those are big cities there. Um, and I'm just being for real. Huntsville, Alabama is the biggest city and populated city in the state of Alabama. Trust me, I know. I lived here for five years. Crime rate's bad here. And that's just the truth. Um, so whether it's here, Philadelphia, um, Chicago, Illinois, um, Chattanooga, Nashville, wherever, wherever, um, you're about to fly the coop, baby. I think crime rate, I think some of you, it's crime rate. And I think for some, you're not able to find the job opportunities and you want to increase your material wealth and you want, and maybe cost of living's too high. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? I think you're going to be protected when you move. For some, I think you're going to have assistance when you move. Vulture. An air sign masculine has really been sucking a Taurus feminine's energy dry through sex magic. One, you've already realized this. One, you're about to. You're about to cut off the sex with this person. One, you've been, pro you, you've been prostituting with this person. They've been paying you very good for it. Okay, so sex magic strong through energy sharing, which is sex. Uh, sex is the biggest form of energy sharing there is. And if you're going to do dark arts, sex magic is um, the way to do it physically through sex sharing. And that's just the truth. Now, do I condone or tolerate bright magic? No, no, but that is the fact. Whoever you are for this situation, you are a prostitute. You've been prostituting with this air sign masculine. Apparently, he's very wealthy because he's been paying you very well for it. Um, it's a um, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine. He could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, ortho, and Jupiter char charts. I already has been paying you very well for the sex services, but you have noticed your energy has been depleting. So, um, for one, he gave you an STD. Oh, there's two of them. There's two. For one, he gave you an STD. For one, he didn't. But either way, it sounds like you're being paid very well for the sex. But he's been, he put dark arts on your ass. Um, and that's just the truth. He's been sucking your energy physically through sex. One, you've already realized it. One, you're about to realize it. And you're about to cut it off. So there's at least two of you. Um, it's going to piss him off. It's going to piss him off. I heard it's going to piss him off. So I think you want to... Um, obviously, that has increased your material wealth. The prostitution with this very wealthy air sign masculine, obviously. But, you know, you can get your money in other ways than sex. And being somebody's prostitute. Um, and whoever you are, I think you're very intelligent and you know this. But I also think for some, you've been scared to get out of it. Because I think you might have thought he was protecting you. But through many series of chain events, I heard one, you're about, you're about to break free. At least one. Maybe for both. Um, I think he might come off very playful, very joking, very fun-loving with the playfulness. Um, but in reality... Of course, he's going to come off that way. But in reality, he re he wants your good energy. He wants your good energy, and he's been getting it. And he's been paying very well for it through your body and energy sharing through sex. But whoever he is, he's very intelligent, and he knows what he's doing. He knows what he's doing. Once you cut the sex off, you're about to notice a huge change in him energetically, a huge change. Once you cut the sex off, you're about to notice a huge change in him energetically, a huge change, meaning his energy is about to deplete is what I feel. He's getting his energy, good energy from you. 
And he's pulling it off as a guise of prostitution because he has a lot of money. But once you cut the money, uh, not the money, once you cut the sex off, i.e. the prostitution services off, you're going to notice a huge decline in his um, his energy. Um, I, I think he might get tired. He might, um, he'll probably get tired. He'll probably um, have less sex drive. He probably will not have as much desire, drive, and motivation as he once did because he was really secretly energy feeding through sex from you. If that resonates and applies. But he thinks he can do whatever the fuck he wants because he's got a lot of money. But really, he's dark arts. This is my dark arts card here in the vulture with the animal spirit cards. It's my dark arts card. He's a very wealthy, there's at least two of them, very wealthy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, masculine. He could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and his sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in here with Jupiter charts. You plug it in how it resonates, Taurus, your Taurus fam in those two situations. If anybody needs to hear this, you are much better than being somebody's expensive hoe. If anybody needs to hear that, that's basically what's going on here. If anybody needs to hear this, you're much better worth much more than being somebody's expensive hoe. Feel too if you need to hear that. Goldfish, increase in material wealth or spiritual growth. A Taurus masculine that has been excommunicated from a church. About to be sentenced to prison soon. Money laundering. Lawsuit with a religious organization and pedophilia. They claim they were so spiritual but they really are about to get a huge spiritual awakening they really were not in the past but once they get sentenced to prison they will have a huge spiritual awakening it is a Taurus masculine he was head of a very popular religious organization in the past oh my god Whoa, I think you guys know this person. I think you know this Taurus masculine. For some, you could be him. Holy crap, he's in some deep-ass water, whoever he is. Damn. Okay, so he's about to go to prison soon. He's about to be sentenced to prison soon. Money laundering, some kind of lawsuit involved with a religious organization. I think the one he headed. Sounds like he was a pastor or preacher or... Um, it sounds like he was the leader of this religious organization. Like a pastor or preacher or whatever, whatever of this religious organization in the past. But he's not no more. Money laundering, some kind of lawsuit with a religious organization, and pedophilia. So I think he messed with the minor or minors in his congregation is what I think. He once was the leader of this religious organization, but he's about to be sentenced to prison soon. Heard he was like basically a fake spiritualist in the past. He was a fake spiritualist in the past. So much so, he was basically having sex with probably minor or minors in his congregation. It sounds like he's gotten caught. Some kind of money laundering regarding he got the religious organization involved in some kind of money laundering. And um, some kind of lawsuit. Sounds like the religious organization is in a lawsuit or he's in a lawsuit with a religious organization or something. But how that resonates, he was fake. He really wasn't really spiritual in the past. He just was a false pretense. But he's about to go to prison soon. So he's about to be worried. He's about to be worried. I mean, hell, prison. Nobody likes prison. Nobody likes jail. Nobody likes those kind of things. But if you do the crime, you do the time. And it sounds like he's done a lot of crimes. And he's about to be, it sounds like, I heard he's about to be sentenced to prison soon. So he's, it sounds like he's about to be found guilty of either charge or charges or whatever, whatever. And I heard once he gets, once he gets sentenced, he hasn't got sentenced yet. I think you guys know this person or you, or you were connected to him in the past, or maybe you went to his religious organization and he was the pastor, preacher or whatever, whatever. Um, but once he gets sentenced to prison, I heard he really will have a spiritual awakening. So he's going to have an increase in spiritual growth, but it's about to take a sentence to prison to do it. And that's sad, but that is what the choices he made there. I think he's dark arts. 
I mean, he's involved with sex with minors, so, I mean, and I heard he was fake spiritualist in the past, so I think he used dark arts to get himself up into a position of authority and then abuse his power, is what I think. But you plug it in how it resonates. But he's about to have a spiritual awakening. Uh, but it's about to take prison to do it. But, you know, everybody has a different path. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Dagger, fear, worries, 10 situations. An older Taurus feminine is about to find out some serious health concerns for them. It is about to shock them. It's about to worry them. And for one, a motor vehicle accident is significant. Okay, so older Taurus fem energy. They, I feel they could be 35, 36 or above. Have Taurus in any aspects of their charts. Uh, I feel for some, you probably know this older Taurus fem. Um, you plug her in how she resonates, but she's about to find out some serious health concerns. I didn't hear specifically what they are. I've been pulling in a lot of breast cancer, a lot of cancer, a lot of um, what um, throwing up blood, hemopatiasis, erectile dysfunction, bulls on penises. Um, I don't feel she's obviously the bulls on penis energy. <laughs> she's a feminine, but um, but that's what I've been pulling in. It could be any of that. Or it could be something else. But it's going to be, she's about to find out, she's about to have some kind of serious health concern. So it's going to be her about to find this out, not somebody connected to her. Um, it's older Taurus Feminine. Heard it's about to scare the hell out of her. She's about to be very worried. So she's about to have some serious health concerns. I feel it might be breast cancer, cancer in general, throwing up blood, or, um, or something of that nature. Because that's what I've been pulling in recently. And then a motor vehicle accident. One of these Taurus fans sound like they're about to be in a motor vehicle accident or somebody connected to them. Um, but they're about to be very worried because um, it sounds like they're about to go through some very serious health concerns. Whatever they are and how they resonate, they could have Taurus in any aspects of their charts. Whoever this Taurus is. I feel for some it could be black backfiring at black magic because we have heavy dark arts in energy in here. For some it may not be. You plug it in how it resonates. Protection from a powerful friend. A younger Taurus has feminine, 30 and below, has really been bullied at work recently, really been bullied. Through many series of chain of events, you're about to request a transfer. You never thought you would get it, but you're about to get it. You're about to be able to move. It's about to be a huge blessing. You never thought you would get it, but you are about to get it. Well, congratulations. You're very light side. You did not deserve this. Okay, I heard you're very light side and you did not deserve it. Well, congratulations to you, ma'am. I'm very happy for you. I heard you're very light side. You did not deserve some kind of bullying. Sounds like the bullying at work has already happened to you, ma'am. You're 30 or below. You're a light side for a spam. You treat people honestly, trust, respect, morals, ethics, integrity, and values. You're 30 or below. I feel they probably bully you because they're threatened of you, ma'am. That's usually why people bully people in workplaces because they're threatened of them. They're jealous of them. They want they want to be them, basically. And that's sad that anyone wants to be like, in, I mean, it's good to strive to be like people, but you don't want to be a doppelganger. You don't want to copy somebody. That's just, that's weird. But I feel somebody's jealous of you is what I'm saying. They're jealous of you. I heard you didn't deserve the bullying. I think they're jealous of you. And um, it's obviously uncalled for and malicious. 
attacks towards you. Heard you're about to request. You've been very uh, worried about this bullying situation, I feel. Um, your light side, you have spiritual growth here. Um, you don't deserve the bullying, the targeting, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, in your workplace. Nobody does. Um, I heard you're about to request a transfer, and I heard you will get it. So congratulations. So protection from a powerful friend in this aspect, I think is maybe HR. I think it's human resources or somebody outside that wherever you're about to transfer to is about to accept your transfer and let you, and accept you to move. Um, if this resonates and applies, I feel this could be HR protection from a powerful friend or protection from, um, or somebody in the other location that wants you there and accepts it and moves through quick, possibly. But you, I heard you will be able to transfer. You didn't think you, you're going to be worried. You're worried. Think you're not going to be able to transfer because the bullying apparently has gotten pretty bad, it sounds like. But you are about to transfer. Um, you plug it in, how it resonates. Congratulations. I think it's going to give you an increase in your spirituality if you are spiritual and maybe a money increase possibly. I think it's going to make you very happy. Absolutely. I think you're going to fly the coop, fly your wings out of there. I didn't hear specifically what career field you are employed in. You have to plug it in, how it resonates. You're a tourist feminine, 30 or below, if that resonates for you, okay? Protection from a powerful friend. I heard go back to this one. For one, you have a cousin, a, a pedophile cousin, older air sign pedophile cousin. You know she's preying on children. You've been very scared to speak up and report this, but through many series of chain of events, you're about to do it. You cannot sleep at night. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. For one of you guys, you have a, ooh, um, you have a predatory cousin, pedophile predatory cousin. I heard her, it's old. Now, you can be any age, I feel, Taurus, but your cousin is a older air sign femme. So 35, 36 or above, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine. She could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, any aspects of her charts, but I heard she's very predatory and she preys on children. She's a predatory pedophile. Heard you, it's gotten to the point you can't sleep at night. You can't sleep at night because you know she's pre preying on children or she has preyed on children or she's currently preying on children. But I heard through many series of chain events, you're about to step up. You're about to step up. I heard you've been afraid to step up and speak out about it, but you're about to. About to in a huge way. Cannot sleep. For one, you are pregnant. Okay, so for one, you're pregnant. And having to deal with this shit. Predatory, pedophile, older cousin. That's yikes. That's sickening. For one, you're not pregnant. Um, but it sounds like both of you, whether you're pregnant or not, you can't sleep at night about this. Um, I heard you're about to step up in a huge way. So um, I think I think you were afraid to step up in the past, but you're about to. And I think you're protected here. I think you're protected. You're very highly protected. Very highly protected. Know this. Okay, I heard you're very highly protected. Know this. So know you're very highly protected when you report your predatory pedophile, older, air sign, feminine, predatory pedophile, cousin, whoever she is, okay? She could have Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and her sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Midhaven, or Jupiter charts. She's either already preyed on children or she has, um, she, or has a history of it or she's doing it now or whatever, whatever. But it's so bad you can't sleep at night. One, you're pregnant. One, you're not. I feel you can be any age for us. But I heard you're highly protected. So just know you are, okay?
An older Virgo father is about to become a, a true protector, not abuser, is about to become very significant in a positive way in your life. They're about to help you out of a very tough situation soon. Okay, so one of you guys has an older Virgo father. Uh, I feel like it could be 35, 36 or above. Have Virgo in any aspects of the charts. It, it sounds like he's your father, where he, whether he's a foster father or a biological father. I heard he's about to help you out of a very tough situation soon. I heard he's a protector, not an abuser. So, you know, some fathers pretend they are really protectors when they're really exploiters and abusers. Whoever your father is, he's never exploited or abused you. He um, truly does care for you, um, and he would never exploit or abuse you. I, I feel here. Um, he's a true protector. So he's a, in this aspect, is your older Virgo father. He's about to help you out of a very tough spot yet, um, soon. It hasn't happened yet. I think you're worried about this or about to be worried out of this tough spot, but he's about to come in and really help you. He could have Virgo in any aspects of his charts. He's a true protector, not an abuser, if that resonates and applies, okay? Playfulness. For one, you're an elementary school teacher. Children in your classroom are about to cheer you up in a huge way. Oh, well, that's beautiful. So for one, you're an elementary school teacher, Taurus. You be masculine or feminine, I'm feeling. You're an elementary school teacher. I heard children in your classroom are about to cheer you up in a huge way. So playfulness. I think the playfulness of your children in your classroom. Um, I think they're happy and um, and they are happy to have you as a teacher, I'm feeling. I think they like you and they're about to cheer you up in a huge way. I think you're down about something. I think you've been worried about something, some kind of stressful, worried, tense situation, and they're about to cheer you up. In this aspect, the playfulness is the children, happiness, playfulness, innocence of children, elementary school children in your classroom. You are their teacher, I feel, and they're about to cheer you up. That's beautiful. A Taurus really likes the personality of online popular social media fire sign. <clears throat> fire sign. A lot. Taurus masculine. Okay, I heard a Taurus masculine really likes the personality of a popular online social media platform fire sign fem. So you're a Taurus masculine and whoever you are, um, you can have Taurus in any aspects of your charts, you're a Taurus masculine. And you like the personality of a popular online social media platform, Fire Sign Femme, Aries Leo Sagittarius Femme. She could have Aries Leo or Sag any aspects of her charts, but um, I think she might make you laugh. Um, and, uh, but, um, but um, she might make you laugh or she might play around or she might um, just have good humor or good nature. How that resonates with life. You like her personality, playfulness. And someone thought crimes against the fire sign feminine in the past were so funny, but they're about to not think they're funny in a huge ass way. 
They're about to get their shit handed to them in a way they would have never expected. Never expected. It's about to shock the hell out of them. For one, a Taurus is going to help with this. For one, a Taurus is about to get their shit handed to them. Okay, so, okay. So, for one, your light side, one, your dark side. Um, somebody thought something was so funny. Some kind of crimes against a fire sign to him in the past was so funny. So, Aries Leo side, some kind of crimes against humanity and against her, it sounds like. So funny, funny, ha, ha, and oh my God, it was so funny, and blah, 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 blah. Well, imagine if that shit was done to them. They wouldn't appreciate that shit very much, and that's just the truth. Heard one, you laughed about this shit. One, you laughed about it. You thought it was funny, funny, ha, ha. But basically, you're about to get your shit handed to you. And I heard it in a very unexpected way, in a way you wouldn't have never expected it. Well, I'm sure you won't think that shit's so funny then. Just saying, just saying. Be my niece to hear that. One, you're going to help um, shit, hand their shit to somebody, uh, to whoever this person is that thought it was just so fucking funny, funny, ha, ha, that somebody has the gall and audacity to commit crimes against somebody and they didn't get fucking caught or not got caught yet or whatever, whatever, they're, now they're about to get their shit handed to them. Hashtag karma if anybody needs to hear that. So in this aspect, playfulness is the funny, funny, ha-ha, the humor. But it was sick and twisted, cruel humor in the past. You should never laugh at anybody's plight. Especially if there were serious crimes done there against this fire sign femme. And I heard there were. But for one, you're going to help hand their shit to them. Kudos to you. I like you. For one, you're about to get your shit handed to you. But you funny, funny, ha ha, it's something that should have been funny, funny, ha ha. If anybody needs to hear that. A Taurus masculine has impregnated a fire sign feminine. He's about to find out she's pregnant with twins. Is about to stress him out. He didn't even want the first one. Younger Taurus masculine. Oh my God. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Oh, that's too much. Okay. So we have heavy fire sign energy in here. Um, he's worried. <laughs> Heard he didn't even want the first one. Well, to my knowledge, everybody's got to keep the baby these days. And that's just the truth. Uh, I, no penis better be coming towards me, and I'm not. I'm not bisexual, and I'm not gay. But I don't want to be no pregnant. And that's just truth. I want the freedom to choose if I can get an abortion. I ain't having no sex until they change it back. And that's just the truth. Anyway, so I heard um, <laughs> a younger Taurus masculine, 35, 34. I, I'm presuming. I heard he's already okay. So. He's already impregnated a fire sign fem in the universe, Aries Leo Sagittarius. She's already pregnant. So she's already baby bumping. It sounds like he thinks she is pregnant with one child. But I heard soon he's about to find out she's pregnant with twins. It's about to stress him out more. So fear. I heard he didn't even want the first one. So I think it's worry, money worries here. Um, he thought he was going to have to provide for one mouth. Now it's about to be two. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. A Capricorn is about to blindside a Taurus with news they would have never expected in a million years. A Capricorn is about to blindside workplace dynamic and business. Workplace dynamic and business. A Capricorn is about to blindside a Taurus with news they would have never expected. One of these situations is a workplace dynamic. One is business dynamic. So whoever this Capricorn is to you, Taurus, if you resonate in this situation or situations, one is a workplace dynamic. So a 3D workplace dynamic, I'm feeling. One is business situation or situations. So Capricorn energy, um, it can be masculine from caps. They can have caps in any aspects of their charts. Um, I feel the blind side could be positive or negative. Only you're going to know, but it's uh, when it happens, it sounds like it hasn't happened yet, but it's definitely going to take you for a loop, whether it's positive or negative, whether it's business side or, um, um, or, um, workplace. You plug in how it resonates. 
Love you guys. Hope everybody has a good day and namaste.